Hi folks and welcome to this episode of Michael's Backyard Marina. Today we're going to be in my basement kitchen. I was fortunate enough from a good friend of mine to get some deer meat. Uh, he gave me a gallon bucket full of it, uh, of chopped up meat. Uh, I'm going to turn it all into deer jerky. Deer jerky is my favorite way to eat that type of meat. Uh, besides salami and some other deer sticks and stuff like that. But I'm going to turn it all into, into jerky and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. Uh, I've got eight and a half pounds of it. I've weighed it out already. I got eight and a half pounds of it. I'm going to show you how I grind it and process it. Let's get started. All right, as you can see here, I got my old trusty meat grinder. Big old giant pan to catch the meat. Works out pretty nice. Big bucket of meat. Let's get busy grinding. <laughs> Okay, folks, what I like to use here is this jerky cure and seasoning made by, it looks like, High Mountain Seasonings. This is the cracked pepper and garlic. This is my favorite. This is what I'm going to do. I use, one thing you want to make sure is you got enough to do the amount of meat you're going to be working on. And in the instructions here, it shows what we're going to do. I've got about eight and a half pounds of ground meat. So this shows the one I'm gonna be using right here. I'm gonna need three tablespoons of the darker colored seasoning and one teaspoon. And I'll need two tablespoons and two teaspoons of the high mountain cure. This is the seasoning. This is the cure. Let's go get the measuring components out and we'll start measuring it up. Okay. So for every four pounds, I need three tablespoons and one teaspoon. There's one tablespoon and I'm gonna sprinkle it around. There's two. Three. I've got eight, over eight pounds here, so I'm gonna need six of these. Four, five, and I got a teaspoon right here. Because I need one teaspoon. Now, because I've got the other half pound in here, I need, I got a pound, and be basically two more teaspoons worth of this. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna throw a little extra so I can't hurt anything. That worked out pretty nice. That's one whole package. Now we'll put the cure, which is two tablespoons and two teaspoons. So two. Four and two teaspoons. The 
is two teaspoons for the one pound. So I'll just put in one teaspoon for the half pound. So now we got eight and a half pounds of meat. Put the right amount of ingredients in it. As you can see what this looks like right here with it all sprinkled around there. Now I'm going to mix it up by hand. I mean, I like to put the old rubber gloves on just to keep all the meat off, like, keep the meat clean and pure and not contaminated with any of me in it. It's going to be really cold, but we're going to just, this is where this big bowl comes in handy. Because we'll just sit there and get this thoroughly mixed up in there. You'll probably spend three, four, or five minutes just mixing and mixing. The meat smells really good. I went hunting or shot a deer for a couple of years and the old deer meat smells bring back some good memories. bags ready to go in the fridge for 24 hours all right now folks it's been 24 hours since we prepared the meat it's been in the fridge chilling it now looks like this it's a lot darker in color now than it was it's secure working uh, I'm gonna show you how I put it through my jerky gun I got my oven behind me here preheating at 200 degrees it's 200 degrees let's get started all right, in my little jerky gun here, I've got two different types of nozzles. I've got this nozzle here, which makes wide, long, or wide, flat strips. This one. See there, there's two trays in there, and I've got the last tray right here. Throw that in, and I got three racks going in there. I actually have more racks for my stove, I can put up to four racks in there if I'd like. But I've also got, I don't know if you can see it here, yeah, there you go, you can see it. I got old potato or old magnetic uh, half of a clip that actually sticks right here. And it holds my door open just enough to let the heat roll out let the moisture get out so it dries it down now we'll go ahead and set the timer now according to the instructions we'll set the timer it's at 200 degrees which is where we're at right now we'll set the timer for an hour and 20 minutes do that And that's your good jumping off point because it says here if you want to uh, you can go lo longer if you want to dry your product so it's from there it's all by looks and taste so we'll let this soak for an hour and 20 minutes and we'll check in on it okay folks there it is dried to perfection we're ready to cut it up in about six inch long strips put it in a ziploc bag let it completely cool off before you do that, otherwise it'll draw a lot of moisture. But that's all it takes to make your jerky. That's a tasty good stuff right there, I'll tell you what. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed that video. Hope you uh, make your own jerky. You can do the same thing with hamburger meat if you want. Uh, the leaner, the better, in my opinion, uh, for that type of stuff. But uh, pretty much any kind of meat you can grind up, you can do that with. So uh, enjoy. Enjoy life. Make the most of your time you have on a daily basis. 
and make something delicious if you want to. You guys enjoy yourselves. Stay tuned for more stuff that I might show you on this episode of Michael's Backyard Marina. Thank you, folks. Have a good day.